Hello, good afternoon. So this is a, a little follow-up video to my previous video. So um, if you want to understand this one, you don't necessarily need to watch the previous video, but I'm not going to comment the code and the problem that I was trying to solve in the previous video. So if you need more context, watch it. I'm going to link it below. Very quick video on uh, how to use the micro, micro benchmark package to, uh, well, benchmark your code and benchmark expressions. So I have these three expressions, which again, I discussed in my previous video. So maybe watch that one first, that I'm going to capture using quotes. Okay, I'm going to capture these expressions. So they're not going to be uh, executed. So I have three expressions. Let's take a look, tidy expression. So it's this whole expression that is um, pivoting a data frame from a wide format to a long format. Then I have this C across expression, C across expression that is um, doing uh, something else, basically applying the mean function on a per row basis using row wise and then C across. And then finally the base expression, which is doing, um, I don't know why these nulls keep, it bothers me. I had to reinstall my, my computer and now Emacs doesn't want to play along. Anyway, base expression, it's another, it, basically it's three times the same thing, gives you three times the same result. Well, almost this, the first one, not really, but the same idea. And, um, and so I just want to see which is faster. Okay, so I captured the three of them and then using micro benchmark, okay, um, so this is the package, this is the function. I just evaluate my expressions using eval. So I can capture them and then using eval, I just evaluate them 100 times and uh, we'll see which one goes faster. So did I forget? Oh no, there it is. I thought I might have forgotten a parenthesis, but no. So um, the fastest one is the one that uses row means. So if you watched the previous video, now you know uh, row means is the fastest of the three because row means is a vectorized function, works immediately on the whole data frame. Uh, then is the um, C across expression. So this one will split in a sense or group, I guess. Every, uh, it will group your data frame such that every row is a group, will apply the function and then will uh, ungroup your data frame. I think that's how it works, but it takes some more time. And then the tidy expression, which takes longer because you, you need to create a new data frame, a new uh, long data frame. And then you, uh, you know, you group by, and then you compute your average, etc. So if you need more context, watch the previous video, but the idea here is to see, okay, how could I compute the average of my rows, okay? Um, because I have a data set where I want to work by rows. So how do I compute the average of my rows? Uh, three solutions to do that. But um, actually, it's not a good idea in this example, as I described in the previous video. But uh, now you know how to do it. And you also know that uh, using vectorized functions that are included in R is usually the fastest solution. So uh, very short video. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a great week or weekend. Depends on when you look, watch this video.